I just love everything about business. I love people that um, have the balls to one day say, I'm going to work for myself. Mm -hmm. You know, I say this all the time. You see these people like, oh, you know, I'm thinking about working for myself because, you know, I want to have some time off and I want to take some vacation. Yeah. If you, if, yeah, you don't want to work for yourself if that's what you're looking for. Yep. You want to work for yourself. You have to get in there and grind and work hard. And I, I respect everybody who gets out there and tries to do it. I love it. In any way that I can help, I usually try to. This was, of course, Dana White. He was talking to Vivek Ramaswamy about pursuing your own dreams and to go on your own, be your own boss. And I think that's something that could be interesting to talk about for me because that's something that I want to pursue myself. I work with the things that I want to work with. I have left the corporate world and I try to do things on my own, which I think is really interesting to do. And I, I'm, I get, I'm so glad that he pats me on the back like this. And, um, and just stresses how commendable it is to do it. So I thank him for that. And uh, in return, I will paint his portrait and uh, follow to the end. And you'll see how I'm going to dress him. I'm going to put him in some kind of historic setting. And um, we'll see how it unfolds. Here is Dana, and um, well, this photo is is going to be good. There are loads of photos of Dana White online, of course, but I want something that is representative how he looks because you can paint someone from a photo that is really you've painted almost this exactly as the original photo, but maybe the photo doesn't really represent how he looks because he has got a strange kind of look you know you have thousands of different looks that you can that you can have in different situations and um, so it's all photos won't be a good photo to paint from that's what i tried to say here and this one will be good i think I, he's got his little grin here that is i think it's it's quite clear that it's him you know and uh, it's also important for me to choose a photo that would be suitable for the painting that I would want to put him in because I want to I don't want this modern boring clothes that he usually wears I want to dress him up a little bit I want him in some kind of historic setting and what better setting to put him in than to make him a warrior so what I thought was to uh, to dress him up like this as the well this is a painting by Hans Holbein first of all and the man that he's portraying here is uh, some kind of a diplomat or ambassador I'm not really sure Charles de Solier is his name the main thing here is that he conveys this force this warrior kind of character which is really l looking forceful so it would be fun to to put Dana in his clothes. So that's what I decided to do. And uh, I needed to merge it a little bit in the computer to make this really work. Because in this painting, we've got beard and we got a little hat here and I want to get rid of that. So I need to do that. And I also want to, I adjusted the colors a little bit. So I, I made them a little bit stronger here. And that's just to, to make the painting work together with a with a photo so i had to decide some kind of coloring for the painting so i started to sketch this up and it's so fun to paint this kind of a character there are a lot of details in this holbein painting it's from an era which is a little bit earlier than i usually like to paint from i usually enjoy mostly to paint from the Baroque era, you know, this chiaroscuro era where people painted with this uh, these really strong lighting from one place. You, you got very strong shadows, almost black shadows uh, in the faces. And you got, for example, these Rembrandt lighting. So you could you get some kind of a dramatic lighting, really. And in this case, the lighting is more flat. And um, 
that's why I usually don't like to paint as much from this era. But um, this is nevertheless a great painting to paint from. It's really detailed. You have a lot of things to pick up when you start to paint. And I, of course, don't go into as much details as we have in the original. But it will be a great painting to look at from a few meters distance, as usual. And uh, it was a fun painting to paint as well. You start with these darker tones, these darker values, and it really looks <laughs> dull, <laughs> like grayish or like, dark dull. But the reason to do that is that you want to to capture the small nuances in the dark areas. You want to capture the, the nuances of the shadows of the darkness because it's easier to do it early in the, in the process uh, rather than later, I think, because then you, can, you don't get distracted by the lighting of, of, the, of the other colors. So I usually start to do that. Of course, sometimes I, I put in lighter colors earlier as well. So it's not a... You can do whatever you want if you're, if you're an artist, don't you? Um, so um, I, I just have my method to do it. And um, speaking about doing whatever you want, it's really the thing that Dana was talking about. And that was really what I was inspired by. Because I've been a fan of UFC for a long time. I watched uh, these events since uh, the, the mid 90s. I was, in, I was an exchange student in Brazil. Uh, and Brazil was a <laughs> really prevalent uh, country for competing in the UFC early on with the uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and the Gracie brothers and everything. But uh, so I really enjoyed it from an early stage. And uh, as Dana White and the Fertitta brothers take it took it over in the beginning of 2000s, they really grew, they grew it. And I really enjoyed watching it a lot. Uh, and I've been a fan ever since. So I think he is a really interesting character. He's really charismatic and uh, is, uh, he, he seems to say exactly what he thinks and I think that it's really refreshing. You know, he's a sales character really. He talks very much like a salesman and <laughs> I, I don't really at all. <laughs> I, I don't have that in me. But I want to like the people that I portray. I may not agree with everything that they believe in, of course, but uh, I want I want to have something that I enjoy with them. Uh, so uh, I maybe I will start to paint people that I really hate, but I, I try not to, to think about people like that. And I think if you want to make a good portrait of someone, you need to have some kind of empathy for the person as well. So anyway, that was none, none of that was a problem with this one because I really enjoy Dana White. I have no problem with him whatsoever. And he spoke about uh, pursuing your dreams and uh, to not listen too much to other people, but to go your own way. And uh, I really, I really like that. And I used to talk to people like and to try to tell them that the best way to live is just to do your own business, to go by yourself. But I don't really think like that anymore because I have found it quite hard to go on on your own path. I know, you know, if you have a clear goal of where you want to go, if you know exactly who you are and you see that you're your persona and your dreams really align and you're ready to go that route, that's great. Some people have that clear vision from an early stage. I I don't really believe everyone has that. And I I believe a lot of people, if they want to go their own way, they will have to really to face some demons within them because you need to have a strong core, you need to have a really strong faith in what you do and a strong faith in your dreams and your aspirations. And that can be a hard, uh, hard route to take. So 
I tend not to give advice to other people, but I certainly think that going on your own path and do your, the, your own thing that you believe in, and when I say you, I mean myself now, <laughs> I think that's great. It's a fun painting, this one. The character here is so broad. His shoulders are huge, really wide, and it doesn't really look <laughs> like Dana's body. Yeah, well, it doesn't really look like the original character, you know, this Solier's body as either, because it's too broad, it's very broad. But uh, I think you buy it because the clothing are really voluminous, but so you can imagine that they are broadening in the whole image a little bit. But anyway, I had to adjust a little bit on the shoulder to make him a little bit less broad, but uh, still it, uh, it looks like a very broad guy. And it started to come together and um, I'm quite pleased with it. That's it. It's uh, a complete painting and, uh, well, <laughs> he looks forceful, doesn't he? He looks really strong and um, I hope that he would enjoy it. Um, we'll see if he gets to see it one day. Anyway, thank you for watching and um, check out the links below if you're interested in uh, checking out any products with this character or if you want to check out the way to learn how to paint. Otherwise, please share and subscribe if you like the content and see you in the next one.